Greetings, salutations, and thanks for joining me for another video. Today, we're gonna to review one of the most requested products I've been asked about the last couple months, which is the Yakima XO Gear Locker and Swing Base, which is a hitch-mounted cargo box, but can also be transformed into an outdoor kitchen or platform for your Starlink satellite dish. Now, there's some other additional accessories that can also be added to the EXO system, like a bike rack or table, but due to the 160 pound rear hitch limit for bike racks or similar accessories on the Tesla Model Y, I'm going to skip those today and focus on the rear cargo box. There's not really any extra weight that can be added after you add the box, the swing base, and your gear. Now the first part of this video was filmed in Nashville when I received the shipment, but it was so cold out that a winter vortex bomb cyclone was about to hit the Nashville area the day before I was leaving for Las Vegas. This morning, a Christmas Eve Arctic blast is pummeling the eastern U.S. Wind gusts exceeding 70 miles per hour, causing whiteout conditions. That I decided to wait until I got back to warmer temperatures to do the install and the rest of the video. All right, so let's head back in time and outside to my garage in Nashville and take a look at the unboxing, and then we'll spin to Las Vegas and in the future for the install and the rest of the review. All right, so I'm out here in the garage and I just wanted to show you guys the packaging that you know came with the uh, XO swing base and the XO gear locker here. Everything seems to be packed pretty well. So what I'm gonna do here today is I'm actually going to unbox these and then I'm gonna actually install it for the first time. I'm not gonna film that part. A bomb cyclone is about to hit uh, the Nashville area in the next hour or two and it's getting dark. But what I am gonna do is put it together tonight to get ready for my trip in a few days when I'm heading back out west. And uh, I'm gonna try it for a few days on my trip and then I'll also do a review of it at that point when I get back out west where it's a little bit warmer. All right, I'm gonna unbox these real quick and then I'm gonna spin ahead in the future and I'll see you in Vegas. All right, so this is a quick look at what came inside the box. You can see you have the XO gear locker over here and then over there you have the XO swing base. All right, so real quick, just gonna open it up and show you what's on the inside. There you go. Feels pretty you know, premium. It's kind of like a, I mean, it's definitely like a hard plastic. It's fairly light. It's got a little bit of a texture to it, almost like a carbon fiber texture. So I actually wanna learn this system a little bit better before giving you guys the full review. So I'm gonna do that as soon as I get back to Vegas. And I'm gonna spin ahead in the future and I'll see you in Vegas. All right, so I am back here now in Las Vegas. It's a little bit warmer out and I figured now's the perfect time as I head out on a camping trip to show you how I put on the XO swing base and gear locker. All right, so here is the swing base that you saw me kind of put on when I was back in Nashville. Uh, but this time I'm actually gonna show you the real, the quick way, the, the proper way to put it on. So you can see, got the uh, hitch that comes through. This of course, right here swings out, which I'll show you in a little bit. There's the hitch on the back of the Model Y. Now there's one really important thing to know. If you're planning to use this, the EXO swing base with specifically the Tesla Model Y, is you're gonna wanna make sure that you get what's called a right angle ratchet. And you want the electric kind, one that uh, you just go like that and it tightens or loosens. Otherwise you're never gonna be able to do this. What Yakima gives you is this, but because on a Tesla, your hitch is recessed, you know, into the car there, it's impossible. You can never get to it. You can, you'd have to go like this and like you can move like one centimeter at a time. It would take you hours and I'm not kidding. Trust me, I tried the first night <laughs> and that's why I gave up when I was, it was too cold out. That bomb cyclone was coming through Nashville and it was just too difficult to do. So now I pick that up and guess what? It takes like five to 10 seconds. That's it. What's cool about what Yakma gives you, you know, lots of times when you like tow a U-Haul or something like that, um, or even a trailer, you can feel it loose, like rattling back there, even though it's tight and you have like a lock in there or something. Now they sell those U-bars that you can put on and then, you know, screw on the bottoms on each side so that'll tighten it. But again, because you're recessed in there with a Tesla, there's no way to do that. You can't use one of those. So they give you one of these, which is actually really nice, regardless if you had a Tesla or not. 
what it does is it goes through and then when you go through, there's a thing on the inside here. I don't know if you can even see it in there, but yeah, you can see it on the left side. What that does is that um, tightens it when you're putting it on. And so it actually creates a really tight fit and it won't rattle at all. It's like rock solid, which is awesome. On the Tesla, you have to make sure that you put it like this going through. Um, that's the only way to do it. That's the only place you have a little bit of room on this side. So I did have to move that little thing on the inside of the hitch when I first got it. It was on the right side. I had to move it over to the left side or vice versa, whichever one. So this goes in like that and that keeps it nice and snug and there's absolutely zero rattle. Now, if you only have one person, keeping like a little rug or something like this to lay on or kneel on is gonna be clutch because it is a little tough to do with the, the weight of this, doing it on your own. You do kind of have to lay on your back and then push up on one side while you tighten it. If you have a second person, it's really super easy. So the right angle electric ratchet that I got is the Cobalt 24 volt max. And uh, here's the battery charger right here. The battery on the back here just pops off. You plop it on here, charge it up. This thing I got at Lowe's. That was the only place I could find one. I think there was a different brand, but it wasn't exactly as strong from Home Depot. So I ended up going to Lowe's and, and going with this. But man, this thing is perfect. I mean, I'm not kidding you. It would take an hour or two if you use this and it takes like five to 10 seconds, <laughs> maybe 20 tops. Um, but yeah, just uh, it's just so much easier. So do not get the XO gear locker or swing base if you have a Tesla Model Y, unless you know that you're gonna add like 150 bucks and get this. <laughs> Otherwise it's just, it, it, this thing makes it so easy that I can put this on in like less than a few minutes. All right, let's go ahead and put on the XO swing base. And then of course we'll put the gear locker on top lock it on, and then I'll load it with all the rest of my camping gear before I head out on my trip today. All right, let's go ahead and slide it into the hitch. There we go, so now it's in there. And now you're gonna wanna take the bolt here. Again, it's gonna go in this way. And we're gonna move it in. There we go, should be right there. All right, it's through. Now you kind of got to just wiggle it a little bit until you can get it to go all the way through. I can, oh, there we go. Okay, it's through, and I'm just going to tighten it with my hand until I can't anymore. Okay, now you are going to want to lift up the right side of this or have somebody do it occasionally while you're tightening it. That's how you get the bolt nice and tight. So then there's absolutely no wiggle, like zero. So what I do is I just lay here on the ground, then put one hand up here and just kind of keep going like this. And then using the electric right angle ratchet there, and then that tightens it right up. Now, just to kind of show you, this is how much room you would have. You would be able to go like this <laughs> if you used this wrench. You'd literally be able to go, if you're lucky, like an inch at a time. Instead, just take this, tighten it on there. All right, so it's already a little tighter, as you can see, it's really barely moving. So now I'm gonna lay on my back. go that was it and you can see that bolt in the back right there all the way in took like I don't know 10 seconds so as you saw before it was a little loose rock solid now not moving at all and there you go that's how you uh, install the Yakima XO swing base literally takes like I don't know a minute or two <laughs> that's it all right, so one thing I did forget was the lock right there. You can kind of see right there. And I have a lock that just pops on. So I'm gonna pop that on real quick and then uh, lock it and I'll be good to go. So that lock just pops on and that's it. Now we'll swing these out. It just involves 
pulling that pin out and then swinging that out. Here, let me do this. There we go. So I just pulled that pin, then take it out till it locks. Same on this one. All right, so, and if you wanna swing this part out, you just take this, loosen it. You'll see the little bolt inside there will come out. There you go, you can see it came loose. Then you just pull out on this and just swing it out. And then the, this'll lock in. So that just locked in. And then, of course, when you're done with it, if you wanna close it, you just pull up on that, then start to swing it in, and it just swings right back. And then it locks right in again. Then you just take this, tighten it until that goes in there. Use probably two hands to make it nice and tight. And then that's kind of it. Then we'll come over here, grab the Yakima XO gear locker box, put it on here and secure it tightly. One thing I did notice is when you put it in, you wanna make sure that these are in the open position like they are right now. When you put it in and after you lay the box on there, you're gonna tighten these until it's tight on there. And then you're gonna push these in to lock it. And uh, that's how it stays on there. And it's super tight and no issues as of yet. All right, so let's grab the gear locker. It's actually not that heavy when it's empty. Let's see if we can come underneath here. So there's these uh, kind of clamps in there. And then you can see on the back here that those clamps just set right in from the gear locker. They set into here. And then when you turn these and gets tight and keeps this locked on there nice and tight. There's no way of getting that off. And you'd think, well, what about these? How are these gonna, if somebody just loosened it, they could just take them off. That's why you have a key here. So you just use the key and the key locks it and then these just spin, they don't do anything. So you need the key again to unlock it and then obviously take them off. You can kind of see under there. All right, so let's uh, get these on there nice and tight. Okay, you see right there, you see that little middle groove? You want that to go inside, there you go. And then you pull it to the front. Same on this one. Kind of see it in there. All right, pull it up toward the front there. There we go. Now you can see that popped in. Same on this one. Then, remove that from the unlocked position here to the locked. It's in there nice and tight. All right, same on this one. Make sure it's kind of toward the front. And I'm gonna just keep tightening it. Okay, it's in there. Lock it. Nice and tight. Not going anywhere. All right, and now we're gonna take the key, stick it in there. There we go, turn it left. And you can see, it just spins now. Nobody can take that off anymore. Same on this one. Turn it to the left. There you go, just spins. So nobody can come up and just loosen these and take off with your box. There's no way of getting that off at all. All right, then we're gonna take the key here to the box, put that in, turn that, and open it right up. All right, and so for anybody who wants to know, does the rear cargo hatch open and close when you have uh, the XO gear locker in the travel position all the way to the car? And it does, you just have to make sure that you close the top. So let's go ahead and close the top there, and we'll go ahead and hit the button up here. No problem. That's nice so that when you pull into a supercharger or something like that, let's say I wanna go in here and I wanna get something out of the cooler here. And I wanna go in and grab a drink or something like that. 
I can still do it without having to move everything. And also when I'm camping at night, I can close it. And then let's say, you know, some crazy scary people pull up and they're gonna murder you. You can, of course, you're already inside camping. You can just jump in the front seat and take off and you're already in travel mode. So yeah, it's pretty great. All right, so the Yakima XO gear locker box is uh, 10 cubic feet. I think the one that I had that was on top of my car last year was 16 cubic feet. So that one was definitely a little bigger, although it's mostly a little longer and then it kind of tapers toward the front and the back. This one is, you know, more of a rectangle. And when you close it, it's more of a, of a box. Of course, when it's closed, you have the aerodynamics of the car should go right over the top of it. I've noticed very little, maybe, I don't know, 5% range loss compared to when I had on top. It was anywhere from 25 to 35% range loss. And of course it was a lot louder. Now, don't even have to worry about that. Just air whew, right over the top. All right, so let's say we want to cook with it. All we would do is again, just loosen this up until this falls out, until that little bolt comes out. There it goes, it just came out. Then you're just gonna pull out on this and push out on the box. Then it'll pop in. There you go, you can see it pop in. And there you go. Now, let's say I wanna cook. I got everything set up right there. Got the back open here so I can have the Jackery like right here, powering everything. And then of course, Got my Ninja air fryer, which hell yeah, I bring this when I go camping. <laughs> that thing is money for wings, for fries, for potatoes, chicken breasts. You know, yeah, this thing is, is awesome. And then of course I got, you know, pots and pans and stuff like that over here for the, uh, the hot plate. But then, yeah, you're out here and you're just like, you know, cooking and you got this nice open space right here. I can put like my table and chair right here and then just sit out here, cook, leave this open, have a little bit of uh, you know shelter right there. And yeah, can't really beat this setup. All right, well, I am getting ready to head out. As you can see here from my storage unit, I'm ready to head out on an incredible adventure tomorrow morning, like 6 a.m. So I gotta get everything over here, like Starlink, Jackery, water jugs, things like that, bathroom tent, all that stuff. I need to get that either in the back here or somewhere in the back of the car here. One thing of note, once you put the weight of the swing arm along with the box, you only end up with like around 70 pounds that you can put on the inside. Now, a lot of people that may not work for them. For me, not an issue at all. Most of the stuff that I put in there, I'll show you, is gonna be stuff like bathroom shower, little camping table, camping chair, little camping toilet thing there. My Exped Mega Mat Auto Mattress, along with like a blanket and um, just some light stuff that you would normally have to put in the car. But when I'm camping, I want to have that entire back area of the car. I want this all clear. I'll usually have the seats down and I don't want anything back there. I want to be able to just have my bed back here and the Jackery over on this side. And that's it. Nothing else. I got my fridge freezer down here and I want this all as my bed. And so for me, being able to put a lot of the camping stuff, the lighter but longer, bigger, you know, stuff that takes up space, the cooking stuff, um, like I said, all of the, the chairs and the table and stuff like that, that's all gonna go in here. That frees up everything on the inside to just enjoy when I'm out on the road camping. This is a great little setup. It's quieter, it's way less range loss, and just an all around better option, I think. And only takes a few minutes to set up. All right, so got everything put away. You can see I got the right angle ratchet right there with the charger, a uh, little tool set, you know, just a few other little things in here. Got a flat tire pump, all that stuff in here, and just still goes down, no problem. Then I just take this, plop down my 3D cargo mat, which by the way, these are awesome. I will have an updated review, probably like what, a, three month review coming up soon. All 
All right, you can see I got everything put in here now. Got my Jackery, got Starlink, of course, fridge freezer down there. And then you come over here and got this all loaded up. All pretty light stuff, but you know, just cooking stuff, camping stuff, all very light. Like I said, I have about 70 pounds that I can load it with and, and I'm perfectly fine with what I have. So let's go ahead and close this up. See, closes no problem, locks no problem. There we go. Pull this up, pull this in. All right, you can hear it that it unlatched. There we go. You can see that it locked in. I'm gonna take it out just once more just to show you. So take it. There we go. Locked in. Now, let's turn this until it's nice and tight. And there you go. All ready to go camping. Let's go hit the road. Oh, and before I do hit the road, I wanted to mention that I've had no issues with backing into superchargers. There's plenty of room and just took a couple times to get the hang of it. All right, so that about wraps up today's review. If you enjoyed this video and wanna see more like it, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next travel quick tip or review video. Thanks for watching.